everybody. Uh, I am Sundus and I am here to introduce you the adaptive mesh refinement so that you can have a preliminary overview about the AMR, adaptive mesh refinement. Uh, let's begin. Um, the use of uh, modeling and simulation technology within engineering has become well recognized. It has skyrocketed in popularity during the 19th century in the domain of military application. It, be it belongs to the two set of engineers of all application domains. Um, let's say, for example, uh, electrical, energy tech, mechanical, and uh, it has been included to the body knowledge of all application domains. Most people agree that technology is getting smarter, but most of them don't realize just how smart it is. The splendor of modeling and simulation lies in the question, why we model and why we simulate? Hmm, that's a very important question. Concerned more the topic, here is a picture I took from the official web website of uh, Computational Mechanics Workshop. It's very interesting and you can visit here. I give the link below. Um, let's suppose that I am a boss of a company that produces cars and I want to know how robust are my cars. Uh, so instead of destroying them in every test, I can do these tests safely and create a model on my computer and apply forces, temperature or whatever I want. Then I can get results. Now, going back to the question, we can answer now why we simulate. So we simulate to reduce costs, to increase the quality of the product, to archive lessons that you have learned, and of course, to reduce time consuming. But now, another question cross one's mind. How can we predict the results? Hmm. How can we predict the behavior of our system? It's the magical FE methods. The FEM, finite element methods, is a technique for finding approximate solution to boundary value problems. It's analog to the idea that connecting many tiny straight lines can approximate a larger circle, as is shown in here in this uh, figure, or oh, symbol. To understand the adaptive mesh refinement or to have an overview about it, I introduce you this schema. It's not too complicated. I'm going to explain it. We have this area, as you can see here, this one. And uh, we want to know the results of the application of two forces. Our simulation here is to apply a force, Fk and uh, Fk prime in these regions. So first we approximate the behavior of this region to a function j and then we divide our area to subdomains omega k. Omega k as is shown here is triangle because it is two dimensional mesh. The triangle is composed of three nodes. Node 1, node 2 and node 3. Each node is uh, uh, has two coordinates x and y. Uh, if we are talking about three-dimensional mesh, so we will have two tetrahedron, and each tetrahedron will have four nodes. Uh, every node have uh, uh, every node has sorry uh, three coordinates. <coughs> the differential equation is going to be defined by a set of partial differential equation. Each uh, each partial differential equation is uh, for a specific element of specific triangle, the solution of every PDE is discrete domain. The finer the grid is, the more accurate results are. So we have here about 30 elements. However, we need a true picture of what is happening in these regions. So 30 elements is not really sufficient. Mm, uniform mesh can resolve the problem. So if we, uh, if we will mesh all the area, it's very it's uh, it's really it's a solution but we will need a huge memory to store the number of elements of course we will need time here is introduced the amr the adaptive mesh refinement we can approximate the error in every element so here each element uh, that means in each triangle we can approximate the the error 
and then we just assign uh, elements whose error is not tolerated. That means we're going to find only these regions because normally the error here is going to be too high. So here is the adaptive mesh refinement. Now we can we can conclude why one uh, why one of us will use the adaptive mesh refinement. Adaptive mesh refinement increases computational savings over static grid approach, and uh, it increases storage savings and maintain well-shaped elements. And that's all. <laughs> okay. Here is an overview about the adaptive mesh refinement. It's too simple and it's uh, uh, it's not too detailed because I just want to make the idea clear, especially with modeling and simulating. If you have any other question or if you want to um, to make it real with C++ or you want to program algorithms that do adaptive mesh refinement, C++, Java, anything else, or if you want to have uh, anything concrete with meshing, you can um, contact me on my email or Skype or phone and feel free to ask whatever you want. Thank you. Goodbye.